Hi, I'm Loli, and I'm so glad you are here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create five beautiful pumpkin DIYs using fabric from the Dollar Tree. Are you excited to see them? Because I'm so excited to show you. Let's go. For this project, I used this piece that I got from Dollar Tree. The first thing that I did is remove that black border that is around it. To help me do that, I used my heat gun. I tried to soften up all of the glue. And then I'm going to use my spatula or my scraper there to go underneath it and go ahead and lift it from each piece. I'm not worried about breaking the paper that is on there because I will be removing that as well. Now that it's all removed, I'm going to remove the paper from all the edges of the frame and also from the main piece. To remove it from the main piece, I'm taking a piece of paper towel and placing it over that. And I'm going to use some water and spritz it on there, make sure that my paper towel is super wet and let it sit there for a few minutes. While I do that, I'm going to sand off the paper off of the frame. Now it's time to remove the paper from the main sign. To do that, I'm going to use my spatula or my scraper once again to scrape the paper right off. At the end, I also did another scrape to remove any additional glue. Once it dried, I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and give it two coats. Then I took one of these fabric from Dollar Tree and I'm finding here a picture that I wanted to be at the center of each one of the hexagons. For the first one, I picked that one and I cut a hexagon that was big enough to go on top of it and to glue it down, I used a lean fabric glue. For the other two pieces, I decided to cut off sections that had boots in them. And I'm going to glue them down using the same glue. And I'm here and smoothing it down to make sure that all of the fabric is adhered correctly. And I cut off any section that overlapped with the other fabric. I want to take a quick moment to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. I wanted the boots to face each other so I chose this color right here. And I also love the sunflower at the top so I also left that behind. Now that all our fabric is adhered, I'm going to take a small scissors and cut off all the excess on the edges. Now it's time to go ahead and paint the frame. To do that, I'm going to use some agave from Waverly. Once the frame dried, I'm going to attach it to the sign once again using some hot glue. It is important to be quick in this step to avoid the hot glue from cooling and drying before you're able to put it down. To tie all the colors together, I'm going to use some sun-kissed peach from Apple Barrel to paint all of the edges. I should have done this before I put back the frame, but it was an afterthought. Once all the paint dried, I'm going to take some of these stems that I got from Dollar Tree and glue it, and glue it on top of each one of the hexagons with some wood glue. Then I took some of these leaves that I had left over from a different pick. I am removing the plastic piece that will slide through a stem. And I'm going to cut each one of these leaves individually and put it at each side of the stems. I repeated this process with the other pumpkins as well. And you know already, I'm not done yet. I'm going to take some of these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree that I also used for this previous DIY. And I'm going to add a sunflower on each one of the base of the stems. Once I added all three, I'm going to take some of these baby's bread that's also from the same pick. And I'm going to take a few pieces off of it and add them to the sides as well of the pumpkins. Now 
My friend, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about each one of these DIYs. And make sure that you share this with somebody that will enjoy it as much as you do. Because sharing is caring and it helps my channel grow. Thank you so much. I was still not satisfied, so I took some of the little wheat looking pieces from the same pick and I cut them into smaller pieces and put them on each side of the leaves as well, just to give this a little bit more texture and detail. And that's all she wrote for this one. Let me know what you think. Friend, today's video is part of our collaboration. It's a 5 under 5 challenge that is hosted monthly by Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And I have the privilege of being the co-host this month. I am so grateful that Emily asked me to co-host with her. It is truly an honor and this collaboration is filled with talented creators. So make sure that you click on the link in the description box so you are able to enjoy all of the creators that are participating in this collaboration. Thank you so much. For the next creation today, I will be using one of these styrofoam pumpkins from Dollar Tree. The first thing that I did is cut off the top section and create a hole. Not a big hole, just a small hole. Then I just popped off that piece that looked like a stem. Now we're going to use this fabric from Dollar Tree. I opened it up and I'm trying to measure exactly how much I'm going to need. I had a little bit more than I needed to, so I'm cutting off that section as you see right there. And the bigger section is what I'll be using for this pumpkin. I started by folding, putting the pumpkin in the middle first of all. And now I'm folding the sides and putting the fabric into the hole. I'm trying here to make sure that there's any, if there's any short areas that they're in between of the longer pieces and then I'm tucking those in. I'm having an issue tucking in the rest here. So I'm taking a skewer and I'm just pressing it down to get everything right in there. There's no need for hot glue for this project as that the tightness of the pumpkin in that hole is plenty of security for it. And this is how the pumpkin is looking like so far. Look how cute that print is. I love the little boots. Don't get me started with the polka dotted ones. Adorable. All right, now we are going to take a stem that we got from Dollar Tree, add a generous amount of hot glue onto it, and press it down into that hole. Now it is time to embellish this. To embellish this, I'm going to use some leftover leaves that I had from another pick and I'm going to keep it exactly the way it is. I'm going to use all three pieces and to adhere this to the side of the stem as I'm trying to do right there, I will be adding a generous amount of hot glue on there and placing it down, making sure that the plastic is within that so it will stay nice and adhered. To keep the leaves from flopping, I added a little bit of hot glue in the back of it and placed it over this stem and I did the same thing with the bottom one and placed it over the fabric. Then I'm going to take some of this uh, garland, beaded garland from Dollar Tree and then wrapping it around the stem of one of the flower picks. And this is just to create a little curly cues. Once I was happy with the size, I'm going to clip off, clip off the section that I'm going to need and I'm going to roll that onto itself just to create a little bit more surface area when I'm gluing this down onto the pumpkin. Then I created a second curly cue and I did the same process and placed it next to the other one. Then I took one of these small sunflowers from Dollar Tree from this pick. I'm going to cut off the section in which it will go into the stem and glue it onto the middle or the front of the leaves.
and that completes this project. Let me know what you think. I want to take a quick moment to say thank you to my subscribers for subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing. All these actions help my channel grow and I appreciate you so much for them. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and join the Lolidis Creations family and subscribe. It is free and it means the world to me. For the next inspiration this evening, I'm going to be using one of these wooden pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the tag and paint it with two coats of my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. Once that dried, I'm going to take this fabric that I got from Dollar Tree and before I adhere it, I'm going to put a generous amount of Mud Podge onto the surface. Before it dried, I'm placing my fabric down and I'm making sure to smooth out any wrinkles that it has or any of the pleated section when, where it was folded. Then I trimmed off the excess using some scissors. Then I added Mud Podge to the top. and spread it all around with a brush. Now that it's nice and dry, I'm going to sand off the edges. Now I'm going to take this piece that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove that hanger and that bow from the front as well. This was glued on with the hot glue, so I just used my heat gun to remove the bow, and then I'm removing the excess glue. Then I added some hot glue to the back of the small pumpkin, and I adhere it to the bigger pumpkin. Now comes the fun part, embellishing. I'm going to use this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to just make a awareness bow, cinch it in the middle, and tie it in the middle with a piece of cord. Before I completely tighten up the knot, I wanted to make sure that everything was nice and symmetrical, so I'm just fluffing my bow, and then I tied it in the back with a double knot. I dubbed in my ends, as you see, I just cut them upward after I had folded the ribbon long ways as you see right there just cutting off the excess upward creating a triangle remove that excess piece of cord from the back and I made this little raffia bow back on top of the bow that I just created and I'm going to glue both of them on the stem of the smaller pumpkin And I'm not done yet. We are going to make this be a standing piece. So I added some Django blocks or some tumbling tower blocks to the back of the pumpkin right at the bottom to give it a little more surface area so this was able to stand on its own. To attach the blocks, I'm using a combination of wood glue and wood hot glue to adhere it. And that is it for this piece. Look how cute it turned out. I love it. Let me know what you think. For the next inspiration this evening, I'm going to be using this wooden hexagon that I got from Dollar Tree. I removed the tag and I painted it with one coat of agave from Waverly. Using some fabric glue, I just glued a piece of this fabric onto the surface. Then I'm sanding off the edges to get rid of all the excess fabric. And here it is so far. Look how cute I am in love with those little boots. Look at that. I love the colors too. And those home flowers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Then I'm going to take one of these stands from Dollar Tree and glue it to the top of the hexagon using some hot glue and some wood glue.
Now it's sent in Bella shit, so I'm going to take one of these um, leaves that I got left over from a pick that I used for previous DIY and I'm going to open it up and glue it right there next to the stem. To do that, I'm just adding a bit of hot glue. Then I took this pick that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove one of the sunflowers. I'm going to cut off the plastic tip that would have connected it to the pick and glued it to the middle of the leaves. And that's it for this one. Let me know what you think. For the next inspiration, I'm going to use this chunky MDF board from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint one of the sections of it with celery and one with agave from Waverly. For the center portion, I'm using this fabric that I got from Dollar Tree and just position it exactly where I want it. I'm going to tuck one portion of it underneath to keep it in place and use my hand to keep the other one in place and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife into that groove to cut off that section. And then I cut off the section at the top and at the bottom. Now it's time to adhere it to the middle. To do that, I'm going to use some fabric tack. Once everything was dry, I'm going to take my zip sander and sand off the excess fabric from the bottom and the top. I wasn't happy with the edges, so I'm going to take some of the Sun Kiss Speech color that I used for previous DIY and put it all around the edges. Off camera as well, you will see that the back here has the tag, but I actually removed it and painted the back as well. Now I'm using my zip sander and I'm distressing all my edges. I just want to give this a little bit more dimension and bring in that white from the background. Now it's time to embellish it, so I'm going to glue on this stem that I got from Dollar Tree with some wood hot glue and wood glue. And we are going to embellish it with some of the same sunflowers. First I'm going to add some of the leaves and I'm adding it to the side as you see right there, gluing it on with some hot glue. Then I'm adding a sunflower. I'm going to cut the tip off and add it onto the leaf with some hot glue. And then I'm going to add some baby's breath as well. To give it more stability, I'm going to add some Tumbling tower blocks to the back, and I just want to glue them with a combination of wood glue and wood hot glue. And that is all she wrote for this one. Let me know what you think. And here we go with the final reveal. Don't forget to let me know which one is your favorite.
my friends as always thank you so much for watching be blessed be a blessing and craft responsibly and if you would like to follow me on social media here are my social media links and don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist if you would like to watch some more of my videos here's a suggestion and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well thank you so much for spending time with me today you're amazing bye